dear student today we are starting the lecture third uh, letter to the structure and configuration of the optical fiber cable which is used for optical fiber communications uh, we have uh, two type of uh, fiber step index and graded index fiber and their mode of propagation is a single mode as well as a multi mode uh, propagation is to be there so in this uh, the ray propagation uh, theory is also explained in this lectures i also try to explain about the few examples solved uh, uh, numerical problem and i have also given uh, some unsolved problems for uh, you to solve so optical fiber communication the main part of the communication is the optical cable uh the optical cable is basically optical fiber which is uh, dielectric in nature that operate at optical frequency it is basically cylindrical in the form and it can find em energy in the form of light to within the surface and guide the light in direction parallel to its axis transmission characteristics of optical waveguide depend upon the structure characteristics and uh, light signal is uh, affected by its surrounding and uh, ultimately the information capacity is directly linked with the uh, the parameter of the optical fiber the propagation of the light uh, that can be described in term of a set of guided electromagnetic wave which is called the mode of the waveguide these mode are uh, we refer as a bound and uh, trapped mode and each uh, guide mode is uh, a basically a electric and magnetic field that are perpendicular to each other and they are propagating along the fiber and they are repeating at an equal to the interval of the wavelength only certain discrete number of mode that can be propagate in the fiber so uh, the type of optical fiber which we have used that is depend upon the uh, its uh, structure in structure it is a single solid dielectric cylinder with radius uh, a of the score and uh, index of refraction is n1 as shown in this uh, figure and the core is surrounded by a refractive index n2 which is called the cladding having a refractive index less than that of the core the main information is uh, propagated in the core of the fiber uh, cladding is not the uh, part of uh, propagation cladding is only required to use to make it mechanically strength and if cladding also reduce if scattering loss that can be emerge out from the core uh, core of the optical fiber uh, that is due to some time there is a discontinuity in the core of the fiber so some light that can be emerge out from the core and uh, that can be absorbed by that uh, cladding and another is uh, that uh, cladding uh, serve uh, serve as uh, absorbing uh, material if any of the contaminant that can be leak out from the fiber that can be absorbed by uh, cladding in low medium loss fiber core material is basically a glass he use whereas the cladding part may be a glass or a plastic fiber is used uh, plastic having a higher loss as compared to glass and uh, all core and cladding they are in encapsulated in a elastic abrasion resistance plastic material which is called the buffer coating and uh, that material basically make the uh stand if any of the small irregularity that has occur at the surface of uh, this that is only present in the buffer coating that roughness or some distortion irregularity will not go to 
core as well as cladding. I mean to say that does not affect the propagation of a core by putting the buffer coating. If there is some of the micro bend or another external environment destruction that has to be takes place, so the fiber is basically not affected. Both uh, as per point of view of the refractive index, if refractive index of the core is uniformly throughout and there is a abrupt change at cladding, then we call it as a step index fiber. In the graded index fiber, uh, the refractive index is made as the function of uh, radial distance. As we increase the radial distance from center to outside, the refractive index goes on decreasing. And after that, at uh, cladding, there is a abrupt changes occur. Otherwise, there is a, a refractive index is the function of the radial distance. Both step index fiber and gradient index fiber are available in single mode as well as the multi mode. In single mode fiber, there is only one mode of propagation, whereas in the multi mode fiber, there are large number of modes that can be propagated in the fiber. There are certain advantages and disadvantages of multi mode fiber over the uh, single mode fiber. Multi mode fiber offer uh, like uh, there is a large core radii of multi mode fiber make it easier to launch optical power into the optical fiber and it is also facilitated to connect together to fiber because large area it is easily to align and make the joint better. Another thing is that light can be easily launched in the multi-mode fiber by using a low cost LED source uh, as compared to single mode fiber. In single mode fiber, we required a laser source. Laser source is more coherent source. In LED has a even less output. It is easier to make, cost is also less and also require less complexity circuitry, longer lifetime as compared to laser. So LED is uh, a low cost solution is easily used in the multi-mode fiber. As there are so many advantages of multi-mode fiber, multi-mode fiber has also a some of the drawback that uh, when large number of optical pulse are launches into the fiber, in multi-mode fiber, all the pulses are distributed among the various modes of the multi-mode fiber. And each mode they are propagating at a different velocity. So at the output end, uh, the information or, uh, which are divided or distributed in the different mode, they travel at different speed and will reaches at the uh, different, different uh, time. So this cause uh, intermodal dispersion due to broadening of the pulse in the multi-mode fiber. So this broadening of pulse is uh, present in the multi-mode fiber. If graded index profile is used, then uh, this problem can be eliminated. Higher bandwidth is also possible in the single mode fiber by using uh, some uh, 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 dispersion compensating uh, and another arrangement in, in the fiber. So uh, after that uh, this uh, the structure of uh, this fiber is the refractive index profile of step index fiber and graded index fiber. This is the diameter of step index fiber with the refractive index N1 and N2 that is the refractive index of the cladding which is lower than that of this uh, N1. In the multi-mode fiber this uh, N1 is uh, uh, bigger as compared to N2 in diameter term and in both uh, the refractive index is uh, 
abruptly vary from a core to cladding. In single mode fiber, only one mode of propagation and the diameter of the core is around 8 to 12 micrometer. Whereas the uh, typical dimension of the cladding in single mode fiber is 125 micrometer. In the multimode step index fiber, the core diameter is from 50 to 200 micrometer, whereas the cladding diameter is from 125 to 400 micrometer. Uh, in the graded index fiber, um, like in the multimode graded index fiber, uh, this is the index profile uh, of the core in which R is 0, the refractive index is maximum. As we increase the R up to A, the refractive index goes on decreasing. And after that, there is a abrupt variation in the refractive index at N2. So information basically propagate inside the core of the fiber. But here, as the ray enter in the fiber, it make uh, incident angle and accordingly um, move uh, reflected at a, every point. Here in this uh, case, the core diameter is from uh, 50 to 100 micrometer, whereas the clad diameter is from 125 to 140 micrometer. So this structure is uh, available uh, in the commercial uh, applications. Now optical signal in step index as well as in graded index propagate in by total internal reflections. Rather we have to take uh, the step index fiber as well as the graded index fiber. Here as in the step index fiber, the information is uh, a red line represent the total internal reflection that has to be take space. E and H mode they are presenting E for uh, this red and H for blue. Similar the blue information they are propagating along with the E component, E and H. <laughs> there may be a, some uh, uh, difference in the delay maybe at the receiving end is to be there but that uh, in the case of graded index uh, the information is also propagating uh, in the uh, total internal reflection but here it is slower uh, as compared to this one but also that delay is uh, uh, almost negligible as compared to this step index fiber. Now in the uh, step index fiber, uh, the step index fiber, the core radius is A and a refractive index profile N1. And uh, N2 is the refractive index of uh, outer core region, which is equal to N11 minus delta. Delta is the core cladding index or relative refractive index. The value of delta is chosen as small as possible. It's around 0 0.01. And uh, the value of N1 and N2, they are uh, close to each other. Uh, for uh, multi-mode fiber, uh, the value is around 1 to 3 percent. Or uh, it may be taken as 0.2 to 1 percent for a single mode fiber. So light propagate by total internal reflection in this and the value of del is equal to n1 minus n2 divided by n for small value of the del. In graded index profile, uh, the value of uh, uh, this n is uh, the function of this rho. Rho is the uh, radial distance. As we have to uh, increase the radial distance, uh, the refractive index is the function of uh, this radial distance with A and alpha. Alpha is the index profile. Rho is up to less than A. When uh, we uh, increase this value of R uh, beyond this A, then we can say the uh, refractive index of the core cladding N2 is same as that of N1 minus 1 delta or N2 
in the case case of graded index profile so in graded index fiber and step index fiber the cladding index profile is almost uh, matching uh, next uh, uh, if we see the geometry of uh, this graded as well as uh, uh, step index fiber this is for the step index a broad variation in the refractive index and uh, for graded index there is a uh, radial distance at center there is a maximum refractive index and uh, refractive index is goes on decreasing now the refractive index profile is the main thing if alpha is equal to 1 the refractive index variation is just like this and if alpha is equal to alpha is equal to 2 in that case uh, uh, the value of refractive index profile is uh, red line now if alpha is equal to 10 then this uh, refractive index profile that is uh, approaches near to the refractive index profile of the core of the step index fiber so if the value of uh, this alpha that is reaches to infinite in that case we can say our graded index profile is act as a step index profile of or it is just like a step index uh, fiber single board step index fiber now <coughs> as per uh, uh, ray of, uh, of uh, optics representation is propagate in the multi mode step index fiber and a ray belong to ray congruence which is represented by a ray mode and there are basically two type of uh, propagation one is meridian ray another is a CQ ray both has to be propagated so here is a waveguide which is to be given the skew ray they have made the angle and uh, a similar uh, angle they have to made and uh, path is forming short of helical whereas median path is easily tracked in the fiber uh, like uh, here uh, a circular multimode fiber which is representing that um, the path of this uh, meridian is easily tracked whereas the path of this uh, secure is forming a helical path due to multiple reflection median they are basically confined in the median plane uh, of the fiber and that plane which contain the symmetry of the fiber since median plane lie in a basically a there is a single plane is to be there and uh, median they can be divided into two types one is bound another is trapped in the core of the fiber the trapped ray basically propagate inside the core of the fiber whereas the unbound ray reflected out of the fiber so as in the previous uh, we have explained if uh, uh, the ray is uh, falling from the outside with an theta acceptance angle the ray is totally internally reflected back if uh, the angle is beyond that acceptance angle like this then there is a reflected or unguided unbounded rays to be there so that uh, condition is to be there and uh, uh, the numerical aperture for that uh, is from this acceptance angle uh, n naught is the reflective index of the air into sin theta a is the acceptance and which is equal to a n1 under root 2 delta and uh, that is the maximum incident angle uh, and delta is equal to n1 minus n2 divided by the n1 in order to calculate the numerical in term of a relative refractive index profile of the fiber is, uh, this is also the meridian ray how it is basically propagated uh, this is the acceptance angle otherwise uh, beyond that are factored out otherwise it is a uh, present in the same uh, core of the fiber now angle and 
front view angle view is that uh, as the ray is uh, as per acceptance angle so it is propagate uh, inside the fiber and uh, it is not making any kind of uh, angle with respect to the axis of the fiber it is uh, rho and phi is equal to 0 propagate uh, just uh, like a uh, median ray and uh, if we want to see from this and uh, the rays go inside this concentrically focus within acceptance angle and uh, we see that uh, the rays just looking uh, at the output end another is the skew ray skew ray are not confined in a single plane as ray at here forming another plane as ray travel at here forming another plane further it is travel at here forming another plane so number plane are very very instead it follow a basically a helical path while it is propagated inside the fiber helical path is uh, uh, through the fiber that is given in a change in direction of uh, 2 gamma at each reflection whenever it is uh, reflected there is a 2 gamma reflection that has to be take this that we can easily visualize at the side of this and this gamma is the angle between projection of the ray in two dimension and uh, radius of the core at the point of a reflection so here uh, we see that a ray is just forming a helical path and when we see it is just forming a 2 gamma angle and uh, we see that whenever ray is entered it is and also propagating the center part is uh, not uh, basically used it is following the um, side uh, uh, path of the boundary of core cladding not the center one and uh, ring profile is uh, the exiting end of the fiber is uh, just uh, look like when we see from the outside. side so the point of merge of the skew ray from the fiber rail will be depend upon the number of reflection rather than the what is the input condition more the number of reflection the ray that should be takes place better is the quality that has to be obtained at the output end so in order to make a uniform output the amount of uh, reflection at uh, reflection should be more uh, so that the output should be a better here greater power loss or arises because of uh, multiple reflection that has to be takes place by this uh, secure So, as like in the case of uh, this, uh, 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 we have used the median layer, skew layer, uh, how they have to be propagated and uh, their uh, reflection that has to be uh, evaluated in term of mathematical expressions. The ray basically which is entered at here making a incident angle theta s and after that a to b uh, making an angle this theta and theta both are equal but inside there is a pi now there is a also a gamma angle which is to be made uh, by this uh, uh, ray while it entering gamma is the angle between the pore radius and the projection of the ray on a plane this B R S. So the ray path A B and B R resolve a two perpendicular plane A B and B R. One is there is a cos gamma, another is a sin theta. So uh, that is equal to a angle cos phi which is uh, given at here and uh, using trigonometric expression cos phi is we have to be replaced by a 1 minus sin square phi under 
the root because sin square phi plus cos square phi is equal to 1. Now next condition is uh, at the critical angle. At critical angle uh, we can say this sin phi c is equal to uh, n2 upon n1. Whenever we apply n2 upon n1 we got 1 minus n2 square upon n1 square under root and uh, whenever we have to apply uh, that is by using if uh, there is a uh, Snell's law we have to adopted that is uh, n naught cos gamma that is at the denominator and cos phi n1 is at here cos phi expression we have to fill in that is 1 minus n2 square upon n1 square under the root so from here the numerical aperture the condition uh, that has also to be defined like in n naught sine theta acceptance cos gamma is equal to n1 square minus n2 square under the root divided by n n2 multiplied by n both are uh, crossed out that is get the numerical aperture so in case of phi bar is basically in here n naught is equal to 1 then this numerical aperture is equal to a sin theta as and cos gamma this expression is obtained uh, from uh, here so next uh, propagation of the mode in a single mode fiber is there is a horizontal and vertical mode are to be there these horizontal and vertical mood both are uh, in which uh, pattern E and H they are polarized and uh, uh, whenever uh, we take the fundamental uh, propagation mode which is linear polarized mode 0 1 in which uh, fundamental HE 1 1 mode is exist in which electric field uh, light propagate along the fiber linear superposition of these two mode depending upon the light that is launched at the input end and both this electric and magnetic field they are polarized or transverse to each other and whenever they are rotated when they are mover they have to rotate a certain angle and at certain field they reach to the original uh, positions so what happened this uh, horizontal polarized mode is in nx uh, direction refractive index profile is just like to a x-axis side whereas uh, for uh, vertical polarized uh, the index is toward the y side no sometime there is a bubbles or irregularity in the shape of or uh, uh, some um, column that has to be occur which can lift up this uh, degeneracy of the two mode and uh, when this degeneracy is lift out both the mode they have to be moved with the different phase velocity so the phase velocity of a horizontal mode is different as compared to the phase velocity of the vertical mode. And that is basically due to the resultant or uh, 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 there is a difference in the refractive index of the vertical mode as well as the horizontal mode. So due to that uh, there is a uh, fiber by references they are generated that is equal to n y minus n ideal condition polarization state remain same propagation is remain same for kx and ky practically it is uh, not they are same then fiber by references are produced and uh, when there is a by references are there then uh, this uh, 
y references propagation that is represented to k naught n y minus n x k naught is equal to the 2 pi upon lambda so when light is entered having a certain fixed mood and uh, uh, both mood are excited one will delay phase relative to the another due to this uh, problem and uh, phase difference is basically occur a integral multiple of 2 pi the two mood will beat again at a same point as it originated after a distance or after a duration of 2 pi so uh, that is called the beta length at which this uh, 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 the pattern is uh, rotated the same beat that has to be exist there in input polarization state will be repeated after 2 pi and the length is represented by a 2 pi upon beta so this is the beta length so Although this is also the non-narrative uh, problem, so I try to explain uh, some numerical problem based on uh, the study of this uh, median ray, uh, the propagation of the ray, like there is a critical angle, uh, numerical aperture acceptance angle, and uh, there is a also bit length concept is to be there. So this is the first medical a silica optical fiber with the core diameter large enough to consider by a this ray theory analysis has a core refractive index 1.5 and a cladding refractive index of 1.47. We have to determine 3.1 is critical angle of the core at core cladding interface that is uh, another is numerical aperture third is the acceptance angle critical angle is very uh, clear what uh, uh, the rays basically fall at cool cladding interface and it is a travel across the boundary of core cladding interface in that uh, case sign critical angle n2 divided by n is to be merged out as because sign 90 is to be equal so this critical angle is 78.5 numerical aperture is equal to n1 square minus n2 square the under root we have value of n1 1.5 square minus 1.47 we got a numerical aperture now acceptance angle is basically the angle which uh, the ray should be propagated inside the core of the optical fiber if acceptance angle is you know that we have calculated uh, numerical aperture is basically equal to the n naught of sine theta a and uh, the value of uh, this uh, n naught for here is equal to 1 and uh, theta a is equal to sine n was n a and n a is equal to 30 0.3 and sine inverse of 30 we got a acceptance angle of 17.4 uh, degrees 17.4 degrees now second example a single mode optical fiber has a beat length of 8 centimeter at 1300 nanometer calculate the mode by references for optical fiber so the bifrangers can be calculated by formula beta bifrangers is equal to n y minus n x, which is equal to a, a lambda by l b. Basically, we have uh, the expression of uh, k naught n y minus n x k is equal to two pi upon lambda, and uh, 2 pi upon beta is equal to LP and here from uh, this lambda divided by this LP we one of the result is to be formed lambda value is given 
1.3 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter and nano uh, that is 10 to the power minus 9 and uh, 1.3 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power minus 9 a mass of 10 to the power minus 6 meter and LP is basically the 8 centimeter and 8 divided by 100 we got 0 0.08 meter and uh, we got uh, this uh, by ranges 1.63 into 10 to the power 5 another way is beta is equal to 2 pi upon LP so we have a value of LP is equal to 0 0.08 which is equal to a 78.5 uh, per meter. So, this indicate an intermediate type of fiber because by references can be varied from 1 into 10 a power minus 3 a typical high by references to a low by references of 1 into 10 a power minus 8. Third numerical is suppose a laser diode radiate red light at a wavelength of 650 nanometer. What is the energy of a single photon? Energy can be calculated very easily E is equal to HF or HC lambda. We having a we have a value of H is equal to 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 34. C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8. Lambda is equal to 650 into 10 to the power minus 9. So, energy of single photon is 3.04 into 10 to the power minus 9 joule. A single photon carries an extremely small amount of energy, but light can be radiated by a source consist of randomness number of photons. Typically, LED and laser radiate at, a, at the level of several millivolts. Now the next example is correlated with this uh, example. In this example, let us take an uh, laser diode with wavelength of 650 nanometer same and 1 milliwatt of light power. We have to calculate a, how many photon of this source radiate per second. E is equal to power generated by this uh, power generate in two seconds that is uh, one milliwatt second that is become one into ten to the power minus three joule now the energy is equal to e is equal to the energy of a single photon into the multiple photon that is the energy so we have a energy total energy is to be there if it is divided by a single photon energy that is e is the energy of uh, total energy 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 joule it is divided by ep single photon which is equal to a 3.0504 into 10 to the power minus 19 so 10 to the power minus 19 this sign is become positive and we got 10 to the power 15 3 point, 3 point 3 into 10 to the power 15 photon are to be generated from the source after that uh, i had decided to give some unsolved problem so that uh, you can calculate uh, them first a typical relative refractive index difference for a an optical fiber designed for long distance transmission is 1% you have to estimate the numerical aperture and a solid acceptance angle in air for the fiber when core index is 1.46 further you have calculated the critical angle at the core cladding interface with the fiber reconcept theory geometrical optics theory for this optical fiber is to be used Second problem is the uh, velocity of the light in the core of step index fiber is 2.01 into 10 a power minus 8 meter per second and critical angle at the core cladding interface is 80 degree. 
determine the numerical aperture and acceptor angle for the fiber in here assuming it has a core diameter suitable for consideration by this array analysis the velocity of light in vacuum is 2.98 into 10 a power minus 8 meter per second a step index fiber has acceptance angle in air is of 0.115 radian and a relative refractive index difference of 0.9%. You have to estimate the speed of light in the fiber code. So these three problems you have to solve. In the next module, we'll go for uh, Maxwell equation based analysis uh, wave equation for step index fiber and their polarization study then uh, evaluating evaluation of mode field diameter that has to be done in order to analyze the single mode step index fiber for uh, based on the uh, this EM based Maxwell equation. Thank you very much if you have any kind of query you can send me a question on my email, official email ID. Thank you very much.